Alright guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. It's the new 3.7, version 3.7 update. I'm straight away going to play the story quest so I don't have to think about it next time. Yeah, just straight away. Star Picker's Passage. Okay, the seeker of a meteor shower. Yo, Mia's preparing for a romantic journey. Okay. Go to Nagaranohara Fireworks. Oh! Yo and Miha gets a second story quest. Let's go. Oh, a voice like that. <laughs> take care of yourselves while I'm out. And make sure you remind mom to take her medicine on time. I'm running the store, it's a bit too much. Take some time off and wait for me to return. Oh, yo and Mia, your mother and I got so worried when we heard that you were going so far abroad. We've never left the country. So we don't know how <laughs> outlanders might view us in Azumans. Or if they'd even be willing to speak to us. Oh, relax. Outlanders are friendly and warm. Look at Toma from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from Mondstadt, but everyone thinks he's a top tier guy. A mop tier? What mop? <laughs> oh! Do you mean the broken one at home? It's I just fixed it today, fun, actually. Yeah. No! I said top, not mop! <laughs> <sighs> you know, Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> has spread throughout Inazuma. My daughter's a big fan of yours. She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Who's never dreamed of becoming a hero? Aw, oh, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. The quiet life suits me better. But if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? All right. Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. Well, I'm gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, no. We aren't here to do business or anything. No, we're we just, just passing, by. passing by. Right. Okay. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat. In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush anyway. Sure. So, where are you planning to go? No clue. <laughs> okay, so she has no clue where uh -huh. she's going. <laughs> I say that, but I do have a travel goal to see Tibet's grandest meteor shower. So but that's why. I don't know when or where it'll happen. So I figured I can search while I travel. That's it? No details? Nothing? Uh, not right now. Since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Naginaharas were inspired to create new fireworks after watching such a meteor shower. Dad says that inspiration is a combination of what you see and what you know. Different people can see the same thing, but have different thoughts. Inazuma today is completely different from how it was in the past. If I can see this meteor shower, I'm Media sure I'll fireworks. be able to come up with a new kind of firework. I know, right? Of course, my main reason is that I want to go and look outside Inazuma. <laughs> <laughs> no need to be shy about it. You gotta play hard when you get the chance. You know, you're right, Paimon. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we first met? <laughs> Paimon loves being friends with you since you say such nice things. Why not make some Mary your first stop? Sumeru. Is that right? I've heard of it. <clears throat> it has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, and a massive desert. Oh yeah, there is also 
Let's study this yep. diagram. And everyone here is really smart, but... so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. Really? But won't research people make fun of me or something if I ask them about a legend? We won't know if something's real or not unless we ask. Don't worry, we got solid connections in there. Ask Leila. Probably. Well, she does anyway. Wouldn't I be taking up your time though? I doubt this is in your schedule. Exactly! Relax, Yarnia. You've helped us plenty of times before. <laughs> All right. Then I accept your offer. Let's have some fun at Sumeru. Dad, you can have more peace of mind now that I'm traveling with them, right? Oh, uh, yes. Your mother and I will be much more at ease. Remember, you two also need to take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okay. Let's head to Rito and catch a boat there. Right. Only we can teleport, so we have to go the normal way. Is there dialogue while we're walking there? Yeah? And yes, I have your Emiya. <laughs> oh, straight here then. See, maybe I don't think so. Oh, it's just an image. Okay, you bought a passenger ship for Port Ormos and joined the lovely ocean views around the oh, so we straight away go to Port Ormos. All right, okay. <laughs> Of a event. <laughs> you don't have to think so hard. I'm just worried that if we don't get down to business soon, we'll take up too much of our time. <laughs> but if you insist, then let's look around. This is my own now. Right, okay. Hold on. How did we get here? From there. <laughs> That means we kind of go through this area that we cannot go through. <laughs> Alright. Uh, walk around in Port Ormos. First to walk around is in here. Okay. Welcome to Akara Crabs. Hey, Feel Akara free Crabs. to have a look around. Wow, what are these? They're so cute. This is our current bestseller, the Aranara carving. Their designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst the children, so they're very popular with them, Miss. Are you from Inazuma? Oh, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. Oh, I know about Aranara. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. No <laughs> wonder the kids like them. Oh, they're all so pretty. Let me take a better look. I'm a new Yoimiya would like this kind of thing. But even she might have a hard time seeing a real Aranara. Yeah, sorry Yoimiya. 
But we need to keep our promise to the r and r Okay, so That's she's not going to see the real thing. doesn't think your Mia would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary creatures. I think I'll get this one. Oh, that one. And the other two that you showed me um. earlier. Uh, you're buying that many? Yep. I'm going to give them out to Psyche and the others. <laughs> They're going to love them. Oh, and these carvings can also be used as prizes and matches against the Arataki gang. They also look great lined up by the window. Think about it. You wake up, and the first thing you see are these adorable critters. When they brighten up your entire day. <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick too. Hmm. For some reason, Pino thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. Hello, Nara Paimon. My name is Aranya. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that how they talk? I hope I remember correctly. <laughs> Entertaining bunch. I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. Still work, Time right? to broaden the horizon. I wonder what other Inusumans would think of the Aranara. This works. Okay. At least Nahida here, since it's Sumeru. Go to Sumeru City. Okay, we are just gonna teleport there. But we are in Sumeru. Everyone hold hands. Oh. What to do first? Hmm. Maybe we'll see if there's someone around here. Yo, okay. Alright, that works. Well just like this, uh um This one I think?
Yeah. I'm just gonna use my rebound. Oh no, we can use Kira. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah, I can just do that. We said we were gonna find someone from Wakalahis, but now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. What about Leila, maybe? Uh, the previous Retawa Sage was Azar. Leila's probably having okay, having a tough time right now. Paimon thinks Alhatham might know something, but Paimon <laughs> So, an NPC maybe? Looks like you two are in the pickle. Oh, Why shit! Why don't you someone who always tells you everything Never she knows? Never mind. <laughs> Nahida's here. Bruh. <gasps> Nahida! <sighs> Why are you here? I'm here Even to meet better. with some researchers. But when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. Yo. We have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Hmm, I see. Uh, your face says that it's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Uh-huh. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? So I guess she is a don't know. If that was so, Ratalis would have achieved one of the... yeah. According to current Ratalis research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times and bless all who witness them. So... You mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed. Hmm. What now? There has to be something we can do. Yeah. The first story quest. The Mujina Yokai. Seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. Mm -hmm. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon <laughs> a real meteor shower, but if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh. Oh, that would be yeah, great, Yeah, that's a good Nahida. idea. Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and me all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, pull this. What is that? I'll tell the Aranara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Huh? Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest! When we first met Hapasia! That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream! Mm -hmm. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's still... Paimon thinks this is the best, yeah, best way to simulate still... the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. True. Let's discuss it on the way. Hmm.
So what we need to do is to make you and Mia believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Hmm. If Paimon wanted to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be... The start time and the perfect vantage point? Yes, exactly! What does that mean? We'll say we're trying to figure these two things out, <clears throat> but we'll actually be bringing your Mia around to see the sights and enjoy local food! Okay. Oh, well, easier said than done. We can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. <sighs> It'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. This is gonna be hard. Oh, that's right. Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story... Yeah, me too. I was like, wish... Whoa, summon... that sounds wish. great! Alright, uh. <laughs> we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. Uh. Certain and then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> this is shaping up to be the perfect plot! After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever! As long as we get you and Mia to enter the dream <coughs> at night, things will be fine! This isn't about being smart, it's about being a good duo! The idea was yours anyway. Paimon just knows what you want to say. <sighs> all right, all right, let's go. Yomiya's probably sick of waiting for us. <laughs> Ember Glow Leaf. Contact the Aranara. If you use it like a whistle, an Aranara will answer the call. Because they trust Nahida. You can't just blow on any leaf you find in experience. Okay. Return. Where is she? Oh, she's down here. Down somewhere. Yeah. I should change this. Hold on. Thanks so much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. Oh. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute. Wait. This is for you. This is an R and R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's all right. I didn't do much, really. It's fine. Take it. Come on. Just look at its big happy smile. <laughs> you can display it at home or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day, and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking, and you love smiling, too. I just don't understand why you're so... positive. I've never met anyone like you before. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not very good with words. But since you say so... I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Oh, great timing, you two. Who was that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abine. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had, uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed and we made our way back here. 
<laughs> there were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. <laughs> it's hard navigating through them all. No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that'll bring up some unhappy memories. But if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. At first, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child. And asked all the same things everyone else did. About rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. <sighs> Gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did. Big time. If you're in luck, Yoimiya, you'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru. Really? <laughs> That's great. If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. They respond to wishes? Huh, I've never heard that one before. So it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> wishes summon. <laughs> In that case, I was born ready. <laughs> Don't you worry. Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, she's having her own spin on this. <laughs> if that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is, <laughs> it's a secret for now. Yeah, and we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. More places to see? All right, let's go. Okay, go to the Vantaka Mountain, the ruin guard area. Okay. Why is it raining? <laughs> is it supposed to rain? Wow. No. Is that what you two were talking about? Amazing! It's huge! <laughs> uh, wait, it's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax, it's completely still, and it's been ages! That's true, it's green from all the overgrowth on it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> now this will make for quite the story. Head upwards. Oh, we're going there? We're really going there with these, uh... Okay. I was wondering, have you seen your sister yet? Yep, but she said that she'd meet us at the end of our journey. And then she left. Mm. I see. It seems she has her own things to worry about. But it's alright. At least you were able to talk. How did she look? Was she doing well? Had she changed in any way? This was well, before in us. According to him, nothing's really changed. He's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. Hmm. Continue to head upwards. So we're going on the ruined guard. Okay. <laughs> I missed. Alright. We're 
on the ruin god. Oh, I didn't think we'd be able to climb all the way up here. What a great view! I just want to shout at the top of my lungs. Yeah, and even though we might not be viewing the meteor shower from here, it's a good place to practice. Oops, I was having too much fun and almost forgot about that. <laughs> Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa, that many? That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories. And these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes. Because wishes hmm. carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. You and Mia. Mm, well said. An air time I thought you needed practice. Huh? Uh, that was fine. You both understand what I'm trying to say? Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side, but there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If I didn't take this step, it's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Yoimiya. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Yep, and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when the fiend was showing me around. <coughs> he seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. I guess. Uh, that's true. Let's go. <laughs> I wish we could fly over. What are we gonna do? If we really ask the blacksmith, he's gonna give us funny looks for sure. Mm, it's fine, <sighs> I You're guess. right. Paimon will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paimon felt bad about keeping you and Mia in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. Yep, that's why we're doing all this. <coughs> okay, us a hangar. Alright, so we're going back. <coughs> and we, we're just gonna see the purest ore. We're not gonna say that about a media shower, but maybe we can. We'll see. Ah! I forgot to check with Nahida. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? 
Oh, that pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, a purist material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. <laughs> I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? Sorry for the trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill? and create up a mock-up device for you. That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help! No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. <laughs> Three lenses are different. Maybe ways. we could just pick a random one. It's not like we're really gonna use it anyway. Hmm? <sighs> no, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. <laughs> Why are you so interested all of a sudden? I mean, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, what now? What? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain. While others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. Never use it? Huh? Why's that? That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So, you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower. Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? Exactly! We're chasing down a legend after all. What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't... Maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Hey, excuse me. Fun. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? I... we have, actually. Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh, dear. Oh... Uh -oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay. Don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well. But I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> She doesn't want to tell me anything. Probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. 
No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. It's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor yeah. shower search on hold. We're coming with you! So we're gonna find Ovin then? Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone. I suggest dropping it on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. Got it. Thanks for your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry. I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please let me know. Thanks again for helping. Okay. Now, before anything, I see everything. Kids these days, her friends sure seem worried. Did I miss anyone else? <laughs> so, get information from Sadi. Uh. Bruh, okay. Let me try that one more time. Really, really, really. What? Okay. <laughs> doesn't doesn't want me to read it. Okay, fine. I'll do it after this scene. Excuse me? Have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was <laughs> panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond. As if she didn't hear me. Sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so we're looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. She went that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay, thanks. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the core of 30. Don't worry, I got it. Okay, what was uh wait? Did he disappear? Bruh, I can't even uh see what he said in his mind. I don't know. So look for Arvin and also Sorry, but I haven't seen this child. I've been settling disputes all day. If they have suffered an accident, please send them to be marched on immediately. I can help you make arrangements. Okay. Everyone's okay? This amount of water do. Sorry, I'm not sure. I've been tending to the herbs. Hmm. There's a lot of people to can ask. Um, this guy sounds sus. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair? Oh, I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. My job, after all. She just said she had something important to do and didn't want to be disturbed. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she left the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, let's ask more people. I think I missed some. 
Not part of the. How about this one? I guess these are not related with the story then. I guess we keep going this way. Sorry, I didn't see anyone like that. I was organizing something. Okay. Ouch! What the hell? <laughs> you need to do that. That's what it was. I didn't get a good look, but something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Pretty fast? Oh no, how dangerous. For sure. There's terrain of all sorts outside the city. And if that was the kid... Got it. It was over there, right? We'll be going now. Thanks. So he went to... Like, Falling down. Um, okay, dashing cancels it. Oh no, there she is. Investigate the traces on the ground. I see everything. Why? Why did this happen to me? I have to calm her down first. It's okay. You're all right now. <laughs> oh, there's a sign there. Depressions. The wheelchair would have kept going, should be somewhere ahead. Okay. He <laughs> fell down there. Oh, the city chills there. Look, it's the wheelchair. So the hilly churls took it. We gotta get it back before they damage it. Fire hazard. Carving. 
my bestest friend. He went missing. The carving? You mean the one I gave you? Yeah. My illness is really bad. It's not just my legs. I've forgotten a lot of stuff, too. I used to love running. I loved the feeling it gave me, and the sound of wind rushing by my ears. But the longer I sit, the cloudier those memories get. I'm starting to forget how it feels to love something. But when I saw that wood carving, I remembered that I once had a best friend. He'd always run with me. Wait, was he an Aranara? Um, Paimon meant that it couldn't have been an Aranara, right? They're just fairy tale characters. But they aren't. They're For real. Kids, yeah. They couldn't be more real. Hey, I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Tell us what happened so we can help you. Sorry, I got carried away. And I don't have any evidence to show you. Everyone says you can't see Aranara anymore once you become an adult. You have to say goodbye to your Aranara friends forever. I can't remember his name or how he looked like. And soon, I'll even forget that he used to run with me. I don't want to become an adult. Not like this. I understand now. When you saw that carving, you were reminded of your friend. You came out here to look for him and remember that friendship. No matter how difficult things got. Isn't that right? Yes. I, I want to see him. I want to tell him that I I'm not angry with him. And that I didn't want to break our promise. But then... This happened. I'm not angry with him. Not at all. Cheer up. Something beautiful has happened. Beautiful? That's right. You remembered something about the Aranara, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Once you start remembering more things, you'll be able to find your friend again. And I'll help you. Yoimiya, does this mean that you can also see Aranara? Sorry, I don't know if I can. I've only just arrived in Sumeru. Maybe I haven't seen one yet. Or maybe I can't see them at all. But that doesn't matter. Whether I can see them or not doesn't change my belief that you can. <gasps> what do we do? do we... Paimon really wants to help her. She didn't deserve any of this. Not her illness, or being separated from her friend. But... Huh? Me? Sure. Um, sorry. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. What's wrong? You look so serious all of a sudden. Oh, did you think I was overpromising back there? Don't worry, I have experience with this kind of thing. To her, reuniting with her R&R friend is the result. But recapturing her past joy and belief in herself is the process. And that's where our help is needed. I'm guessing that her sudden illness made her feel like she may not be able to realize her dreams anymore. It also made it difficult for her to hold on to the happy memories and dreams she had. Everyone has their own imagination. After some chance coincidence, she met Aranara. So as long as we help her rediscover that same feeling she once had, her Aranara will return naturally. Oh, so that's what you're thinking. Adults only want to believe in objective reality. In doing so, they may unintentionally do harm to the innocent fantasies of children. But I think there are ways to get even subjective things back. So, how about it? Wanna help me out? <laughs> Looks like all this excitement made you forget your original goal again. <laughs> if we didn't do anything to help, I wouldn't be able to watch a meteor shower, even if it appeared right now. And would the stars really want their caller to have such a heartless soul? What are you trying to say? Because we can actually summon the Aranara. <laughs> really? Just watch. We have some tricks up our sleeves. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, so this is an Aranara. 
Arnor in the story quest. Oh? Arapurva. Okay, story quest, they have no voices still. You don't say that that would be strange now, though. Got a name, Arashani then. That's why I want to help her. Her world is still very small. Too small for all the sadness she has to bear. As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. Yes. Maybe we're already used to bad luck, and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment, but this is her first time dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this is for us to support one another. <laughs> Red Nara has not yet grown up. <laughs> so that means uh, thank you. Thanks for trusting us. Multimia Forest. <laughs> oh. So Aranara still doesn't have voices even in story quest, eh? Oh, we're straight away here, okay. Um, Paimon's been meaning to ask what you meant by prepared. Nara, no, Arvin is not completely remembered. Dreams? But I'll never be able to stand again. Even if I can recover, I don't know how long that'll take. My heart? <clears throat> huh? He's gone just like that? It looks like the sky here has changed somewhat. My heart. <clears throat> huh? Is she able to stand up? In the dream. Not our first time in one. No wonder our four of us not to worry. Avin can move freely in this dream. Wow, that's amazing. Is this the power of my heart? How amazing. Now we can all look for Arashani together. Come on, let's race. Let me see how good you really are. I might not have recovered yet. Whatever, let's go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and you're gonna leave a wheelchair here. Well, it's just a dream anyway. Yo, Mia's there. Hold on. Um, I guess I'll use. Oh wait, better. Oh, 
almost caught up to me. She sure is something. Is this really a, already a dream world? Because we can just teleport out. <laughs> anyway. Is that a star? Is that a meteor? Look, something's floating up ahead. Yeah, it looks like a star. Does it want us to follow it? Hmm, maybe. Let's follow it. Why does this remind me of the up Lagos? Catch up to the drifting star. I am the Yoimiya trial. This is the trial Yoimiya. C3. Okay. Going down. Up, up and away. Up, up and away. Want to keep chasing after it? You're not feeling worn out yet. Continue chasing. <laughs> Yomiya has no. We don't have a stamina limit. I realized that. We're going back up. Um, Whoa! There are so many huge mushrooms oh. here! They're big enough to lie on! That's not what they're for! Let me show you! Oh! So it's for jumping. jumping? Watch this! Okay. So, this is our destination? But Paimon doesn't see an Aranara, just this big stone! I'm so happy! You know, at first, it felt like my world had shrunk down to a tiny space. But as long as I continue moving forward, new sights will always appear in front of me. And my world will keep expanding before my eyes, even though I don't know how I did it. I know I have you all to thank. Oh, that's not important. What's important is that you remember the joy of going through the world. Our memories don't just symbolize our past. They can also shine a light in our future. Once you find the hope in your heart again, that happiness will come back to you. Yes. Thank you, Yoimiya. Thank you all. Let's keep looking for our Shani. It doesn't look like he's here. Yeah. What is this uh, then? Then why would this guy lead us here? I don't know how to explain this. <coughs> <laughs> it's a very rare ore that, that, that symbolizes a person's aspirations and dreams. Since you can see it, that means you've found what you've lost. Is that how it works? It's just like in fairy tales. I thought I'd stopped believing in those. But I'm glad that I found that belief again. Let's go after them! 
โอเคเอ้ยอาราชานี่เลยดิสอาราชานี่อาราชานี่ The R and R is sure of a flair for magical journeys. They not only helped Devine find her best friend, but they also showed us what an Earth Stone is. Oh, uh, we have to look for one of our own later to make the purest lens. <laughs> yep. It's kind of funny, but. Paimon thinks we can actually do it, but we have to bring her back to Sumeru City first. Her mother must be worried sick. Okay, we return back to where we were. Exactly. What just happened? Did you just take glasses out of your chest? I have no idea. <laughs> How'd you know we need this? I didn't. I just thought that since you helped me find my precious friend, I should help you using something precious to me. And then the light turned into this. Is this? What you needed? Thank you. I didn't expect us to solve our problem like this. All right, time to give it a go. Not that I know how to use it, but let's see what my intuition says. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I think I see it. Oh, it was a uh, pretty obvious. It's like that kind of lens. Come on, wow. I'll lead the way. Once we're done watching the meteor shower, I'll accompany you home. Also, thank you for helping us. Uh, actually, let me scrap the pleasantries and give you a heartfelt compliment instead. You all are great storytellers. <laughs> Observe the meteor shower. Wait, how the hell did we get there? Oh.
Let's see. So that's what happened. They wrote the media song. <laughs> No, it's still a dream, that's why. Look at all the five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just like fireworks. So she knew? <laughs> you know me. It really doesn't matter to me if our experience was real or a dream. I really should thank you two, though. You set all this up as a backup plan because you knew that meteor showers are hard to catch, right? Don't worry. I loved it so, so, so much. I think this ranks as the absolute best gift I've ever been given. Oh, whew. that's good. Paimon was afraid you might be angry after hearing the truth. Why would I be? I dreamed about helpful, friendly, <laughs> cute Aranara. I dreamed that we ran and jumped atop large mushrooms and we discovered Earthstone in a very unexpected way. And when I thought we had woken up, the next part was even more amazing. From her heart, Athene brought forth Earthstone glasses. We found meteors that blew up from the Earth. And we even became one with the shooting stars themselves. That's right. Dreams themselves may be imaginary, but they're also experiences that can never be relived or replicated. If we were sticklers about truth and fiction, we would have missed out on so much beauty and emotion. <laughs> you should know your way with words. Paimon's gonna bump you up a few places on the Paimon's <laughs> best friend list. That's a leader for that. Back for 
for sure. You will always be welcome here. Afin would be happy to see you again. It's a deal. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you got it. Yoimiya, before you go back, I want to tell you about my new dream. I want to travel to Inazuma on my own and watch a fireworks show there. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect to be introduced to new customers while on vacation. Don't worry. I'll make you some fireworks that you'll never forget. You do as well. No matter how busy your adventures get, remember to come back to Inazuma. We'll always welcome you no matter when you drop by. You gotta come and watch the fireworks this meteor shower inspired as they soar high in the sky. Sounds like a plan. I will, I will. <laughs> You're as earnest as ever. Oh yeah, by the way, have a look at this. Hmm? That's right, this is the one you helped me pick. And you said it looked kind of like me. I went to buy another one. This one's for you. Look at it whenever you're feeling down. Who knows? Maybe you'll raise your spirits. If nothing else, you'll know that I'm supporting you all the way. Of course, meeting in person is still better. <laughs> okay, I'll be heading back now. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. I really love the trip you prepared for me. In fact, I'm totally impressed. No matter where you two go, I know that our friendship and its warmth will support you. So, go forward. To the end of your journey and to the ends of this world. See you around. Wow. And that's the end of it. <sighs> Friendly Aranara carving. <laughs> Okay. Well. How are you going to get to Inazuma from here? <laughs> actually, it's, actually, it's not that uh, tough. It's just... It's not open yet here. I guess you can just cross through here. <laughs> wow, that was so fun. Yoimiya story quest eh? That's it for Yoimiya story quest. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.